Welcome to Everlasting Gospel Kingdom Ministry Sunday morning uh, streaming broadcast. We praise God for another opportunity for us to gather together around the Word of God. We thank God for uh, this week uh, as the Lord has blessed us, and I pray that God has been doing the same with you and yours. In Jesus' name. We're going to get into a powerful word today, and I know that God is going to bless us. But praise God, as we go forward, uh, before we go forward, let's open up with a word, with a, with a word of prayer. <clears throat> Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you and I praise you and I bless you. I bless you, Holy Spirit, for leading us to this place, this time, and for this moment. I thank you for that which you have uh, uh, quickened in my own spirit to bring forth into the, in the teaching of, of this ministry. And I thank you, dear God, for uh, preparing hearts to receive even that which uh, we will bring forth on today. Help somebody, God. Deliver somebody. Heal somebody. Bless somebody, dear God. And we'll be careful to give you all the glory, the honor, and the praise. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ, we pray. And we say amen. And amen. Well, once again, welcome, welcome, welcome. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's this is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah to God. Well, I want to get into a, a, a new series, uh, starting a new teaching. Praise God. Uh, and the series title uh, I, 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 it's called The Balance and the imbalance, the balance and the imbalance. And, um, uh, you know, it was my policy, praise God, to not to try to go so deep on a Sunday morning. And uh, so the teaching on Tuesday evenings at the Bible study was uh, noticeably different than the teachings on Sunday morning. I think the Spirit of God has been dealing with me about that, saying that, that this is the same people. It's all the same people. <laughs> and we're evangelistic services where we're uh, introducing Christ and to people who don't know Christ. Uh, probably we haven't had that group of people that, that have tapped in or tied into the ministry as of yet. Uh, well, I won't say as of yet, but we've, we've kind of, I uh, used the ministry or, or targeted, uh, used the ministry to target uh, the upgrading and the, uh, of the believer, the, 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 the development of the saints. And that's what God said in, in the book of Ephesians. He gave some apostles, prophets, pastors, teachers, and evangelists for the upgrading, for the blessing of the people, the maturing of the people. And that's what we've kind of targeted with this particular ministry. And so, uh, again, the balance and the imbalance. It'll be an introductory teaching today. And then on Tuesday night, we're going to move right into some other things regarding the balance and the imbalance. I've uh, uh, started a book on this, and uh, you'll, be, uh, you'll be able to get it soon. Uh, that, that that will really be able to 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 to, to help you to study the information that I'm going to bring across, because it's the information that I'm going to bring across. Uh, uh, we see many places in the Bible that symbols and allegorical uh, 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 symbols are used. <clears throat> and they mean something. Everything means something. For instance, if it says in the Garden of Eden there were two trees, two trees uh, means two trees, but they also mean something. They have significant principles for the human family to understand. And so this, this ideal of a balance and an imbalance uh, is is the the raw nuts and bolts? It's it's kind of not pulling it, pulling the information, uh, putting some some teeth into it, putting some boots on the ground into it, and taking out the symbolism and showing us um, the principle, the principle. And I'm going to talk to you about those principles, uh, some of those principles that uh, the Holy Spirit wants to reveal to us in our generation. It's very important. Very important because uh, uh, these principles, principles 
according to the scripture now according to the bible can cause a person either to to make heaven and 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 uh, to to uh, or they can uh, or to miss heaven <laughs> according to the scripture now, if you believe in the bible these principles uh, uh can cause a person to miss the the the, the, the next dimension of glory of of, the, of every human being or to miss that next dimension of glory of every human being. I know there are agnostics and atheists, people who don't believe in any of this. I, I really, that's not the place for me to try to win you over. Your, your, uh, but but I pray that something will be said if you're watching that will help you uh, uh, in your journey in life. But this is from a, from a believer's perspective. There are principles given to the human family by God Almighty, and uh, as we. Uh, uh, um, as we adhere to these principles, it, according to the scripture, can be well with us. Now, what that means is it doesn't mean that you'll never have a rainy day. It doesn't mean that there'll never be a thorn that will come up on your flower. It means that you'll be able to navigate uh, in life and there's a level of joy in, uh, that you'll operate in in life that no matter what comes your way you'll be able to be what the bible calls an overcomer amen and amen all right let's get into this teaching praise god it's a very uh uh, 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 uh when i thought when i believed that the holy spirit was leading me to do this teaching uh, uh, I, I kind of shrugged a little bit. I said, oh, my God, that's a difficult teaching. I wrote a, a book in poetic form. Uh, the next one is not going to be in poetic form, but about this balance and imbalance uh, called the eight days of creation, the eight days of creation. And and you might say, no, there's only seven days. No, there's a day that's before the foundation of the world, before the creation of the world, God existed. I call that day zero, day zero, amen, before there was the let there be light, God existed. And uh, 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 so I've, I've written a little bit about this balance and imbalance in the past. And it, and it again, it is so. Um, it, it is so um, uh, uh, principle oriented in in the sense that it, it it doesn't just appear in symbolic form. It tries to get down to the the, the roots and the nuts and bolts of what the principles are tr attempting to teach us. And uh, 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 so where, where, where we have revelation and insight, we've tried to do that. Now, again, we're going to begin this teaching today, and uh, we're going to continue it on uh, Tuesday night, if the Lord wills and helps us. Okay, so uh, in the beginning is a good place to start. And, the re and what I mean by that in the book of Genesis. The book of Genesis is called the Genesis. The word Genesis itself means um, the, the beginning things. The, 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 it means the beginning. So in other words, when it's in the beginning, it's actually in the Genesis. And, and what that pretty much tells us whenever you talk about it beginning things from the scripture from the bible whenever you talk about beginning things you talk, and you start talking about first things uh you, you you need to understand god in terms of how the bible is given to us it's given to us uh laying out the foundational first things the foundational principles that govern all of existence uh in, in other words if you can learn about the foundation if you can learn about what was put forth if you can learn about the seven days if you can learn about uh, uh the let there be light if you can learn about uh, uh, uh different other principles that are listed in these uh, the the creation story, or the the beginning of the the Bible, the book, the entire book of Genesis, all of these list unto us first things: the first people of uh, Adam and Eve, and then of Cain and Abel, and then of uh, Seth, and you, you go on down to to Enoch. Uh, all of these people, all of these things are first things. That has that 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 yet they they were real according to the scripture, but they give us 
some sim they, they they are they are also represent they represent first things that that can represent many other things that will come after them because they are the foundational principles for the existence for all other things it's a foundation that was laid that we began to build on top of or, or draw from and so the book of genesis then is a very important book to study not just a book praise god to read or not just a book to, to it, it is a, it's a great book to study if you study it you'll find out that what you have read will begin to come to life and open up other things and uh i know many will have <laughs> questions ah how could no no it did no one put any dinosaurs on the ark <laughs> Well, that's not the, that's not what this program is. And <laughs> we can talk about that at another date and whatnot. All right, so as we look in the book of beginnings, the book of Genesis, I want to point out uh, I want to introduce to us today uh, this concept that I'm talking about that uh, are called the balance and the imbalance. But if we go, if we go to the first chapter of Genesis, uh, the first chapter of Genesis, and I'm going to begin reading there uh, at the first verse. And when we begin to, when we, when we, uh, and I'm going to try to point out some things as we study uh, these verses. I'm not going to read all of it, but I just want to read uh, uh, about the first day. Uh, In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. And I'm going to stop right there. There's a few things that are introduced to us in this particular picture concerning God and his creation of, uh, uh, of all things. And uh, one of the things that we learn is that God supersedes or he is before the beginning. He created what we call the beginning. He created what we call the beginning. He created the heavens and he created the earth. Now there's many that uh, ideas about this creation and uh, whether it was the first time things were created and uh, and that's not what I, I intend to even deal with today. I want to deal with some, a, a few things that we see that appeared during the creation. We have darkness was on the face of the deep. Uh, we we have darkness. We have the face of the deep. We have the spirit of God and we have the face of the waters. All of these things were, uh, were, uh, appears. Then we also have the, something that says, let there be light. And the, and the light was good. And then it says God d divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day and he called the darkness. Uh, uh, he called the, the, the darkness night. And then he says a very important principle that will be uh, that will be uh, 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 paramount when we for us to understand the the balance and the imbalance. He says the night, or he says, and the evening, and the morning was the first day. Okay, we'll get into that, and that's going to be the last thing I th hopefully we'll talk about today, but it'll bring us into this understanding of the balance and the imbalance. The evening and the morning was the first day. First of all, when we, when we deal with Hebrew, we deal with uh, the language, uh, the Hebrew uh, uh, language, or even if you were dealing with the Greek language, one of the things that we, we, we come to understand is that uh, uh, when the scripture here speaks of let there be light, you know, there's different types. There's different types of light. And this particular scripture is not talking about, uh, the, the, the thing we know it's not talking about is uh, God saying, let the, let the light from the sun appear. Because 
according to the scripture here, this is day one that's being created. And the, the sun itself, the sun and the moon are not created until day four. And because the sun and the moon are not created until day four, he couldn't be calling for the light of the sun yet because the sun doesn't exist yet. So when he says, let there be light, he's, he's, he's saying, let there be an illumination of manifestation. Let a manifestation come forth that uh, was not there uh, before. Something takes place at this time where he says, let there be light. It's not talking about the light of if I turn a lamp on in a room and the room is illuminated for merely for seeing. It's talking about a light that comes from uh, God himself. And that and that and that and that light brings forth a manifestation. And, and, and according to scriptures, that manifestation came forth without form. And it, it came forth uh, what we call void. And there's many ideas of what that means. But I'm again, I, that's not what I want to go into today. Um, that light came forth. And then it says, and, and, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. Now listen, so the light came forth, but yet darkness was there also. Now, you have to understand these terms because we're not talking about if I, I walked in a room and I couldn't see anything, that's darkness there. It's not talking about, and just as it's not talking about the, the light of the sun, and just as it's not talking about uh, just illumination to see uh, and calling that term light, it's the same way as not talking about darkness in that way, that the sun went down and then uh, the moon uh, 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 was only the, the casting the reflection, but it, it didn't cast the reflection, so you had darkness. It's not talking about darkness in that way. Here's two principles, two terms that we have to uh, recognize in this first uh, uh, day, or the first chapter of the Bible, the beginnings, because it lays a foundation. There is the existence of the God kind of light, and there is an existence of uh, its, uh, its opposite called darkness and these two are, are deal with so much more than illumination uh, 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 or uh, non-illumination uh, the Bible says Satan transformed himself to an angel of light but he is he is the prince of darkness now does that mean that he's just so dark you can't see him no it doesn't mean that it, 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 it deals with so many other things you're dealing with in the beginning here a prince the principle of of light and darkness the principle of light and darkness all right so uh, uh i hope that you I hope that you, you're getting that in, in terms of the, this first thing so because you you got to catch that god called the the the, the day light and he called the, uh, the light day and he called the darkness night we're not talking about the, just the illumination. We're talking about the manifestation. God says, let there be. Uh, light says, let there be. It's manifestation. It's bringing things into existence. Though they come into existence without form and void, there is no realms. There is no, uh, no, no, no separation of the heavens from the heavens. None of these things are, 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 are coming yet. So the, 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 the creation comes forth in a chaotic manner. Okay, just just that, like I said, uh, we're not. <laughs> I know we we've got some quite a few different beliefs. I'm not going to go there today, or not not, not at this time. Um, but we have the earth coming uh, manifestation coming forth in a chaotic manner, without form, coming forth in a chaotic manner, a uh, 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 void. And darkness was right there. Light's coming forth, but darkness is right there. The, 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 the coming forth of light comes forth in terms uh, as if it was watery, watery, watery. All existence, the, 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 the pending earth, uh, 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 the pending dimensions and realms, the skies, the universe, everything is just watery, watery. Watery. 
and it 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 will take the day two uh, when the spirit of God uh, 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 separates the waters from the waters or the heavens from the heavens, the dimensions from the dimension. It'll take that in order uh, to to begin to to in in, in order to begin to to, to to see the chaos removed or to see the without form removed or to see the void removed it t- it'll take the spirit of god in the dimension of administrating what has come forth because what has come forth has not come forth perfect but it it is it was only the, the, the delivery the, the speaking forth or the bringing forth of these things okay so here we have Two things in existence now that came forth from God, uh, 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 however you want to see it, that came forth before the sun or the moon, light and darkness. God called the day light and he called the night darkness. But then he says something that seems in our uh, understanding of of uh, 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 of things uh, we, we we don't always recognize uh, it this way. Then he says, he says, and and uh, God called the 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 light day, and the darkness he called night. Then he says, and the evening and the morning were the first day. Now there's a specific reason that every day of creation after this is going to be listed in this manner. The evening and then the morning. It's not going to be listed. A day is not going to be listed as a day and then and then the evening. It's always going to be listed the evening and then the morning. And there's a principle here that we have to see because if we don't see this principle, we won't understand a, a foundational principle within creation. So God says, and the evening and the morning was the first day. Now, now, now let me let me allude to something because I'm not going to be back for you long. I just want to introduce this 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 imbalance, or I want to introduce the evening and the morning to us today, which deals with this balance and imbalance. <clears throat> When God says the evening and the morning was the first day, here's what God is talking about. God called for manifestation. Let there be light. But when he called for light, darkness appeared also. Watch this. And neither one is talking about the light of the sun or the darkness because of its, the sun's absence. It's talking about spiritual things. Light appeared. And so did darkness. God called forth the light, but darkness followed it right. Darkness came right behind it. Light is manifestation. Darkness is non-illumination, non-manifestation. Darkness followed right there with the light. Now, here's the thing that we have to kind of grapple with. When God called the, the light, Light comes forth. We think in terms of a day. Light comes forth. And if we think in terms of darkness, uh, this type of darkness coming forth right along with the light. Light or manifestation is in an attempt to manifest itself. Whereas before it operate in a non-manifestation. Come on, are you following me? Light and darkness, not de- not in the terms of it, of it, uh, uh, of the sun and moon. But here's light that God calls forth, and darkness comes forth right along with it. But light is in an attempt to manifest all that God wants manifested. But here's darkness coming, following right behind light. Darkness then begins to emulate and tries to, uh, I won't say it tries to overcome or fight uh, the light, but darkness seems to try to, 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 to make itself equal with 
the light. Watch it, watch it, watch. Darkness seems to try to make itself equal with God, with what God calls forth. And so you get a, a, a producing of everything that God called forth in that day, and you get a, a producing by the a light that, that was released to produce it, but you get darkness coming right along with it, trying to make itself equal trying to make itself balance with God, trying to make itself uh, 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 one with the, uh, the, 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 the producing of God. So here the Bible says, uh, not so devil. It says, now at the evening, I've caught light and it's come down. And now darkness has also come down. But God says, guess what? You'll not be equal, devil. I'll make another day. Hallelujah. God calls for another day. Now darkness, which has gone behind, has to go forth and try to make it equal with that day. And God will continue to this process of calling for, of, of light coming forth, darkness trying to emulate, and, 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 and then begin, when darkness tries to emulate and cover what God has produced, God will begin to say, let there be a new day. God says, let there be a new day. And as God said, let there be a new day, he says, now, now the evening and the morning was the day. The evening that Satan came in trying to reproduce and the morning of the new day, he says, now, he says, let there be a new day. Let there be a uh, let there be an a equilibrium break. Let there be an imbalance that, that takes place. Hallelujah. He said, let there be an imbalance that takes place. Okay, I hope you're getting this. I hope you're getting this. He says, this is the, 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 what I call the equilibrium imbalance. This is an imbalance between light and darkness. And this is the assurance that what God created, uh, uh, what God created uh, will never be uh, every time s uh, Satan, every time the, the darkness, every time the shadows try to be equivalent to God. Every time they try to, 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 to match up with God, God, God says it'll get to a place of evening. But God says at that time he'll say not so and he will take it into a new day oh my hallelujah hallelujah i hope i'll get into this a little bit more but let me just make a few statements before i end on today god wants doesn't want want an, 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 an equivalent parallel opposite to be running around acting as if it was god that's another term i want you to remember equivalent parallel opposites that's a that's a lie that's a twin to the truth but it's not god God, God will call for a new day in you. God will call for an equilibrium imbalance in you. Many of us looking looking to get balance with the world, balance with Satan, balance with the, the thing. No, no, God says he'll call for an equilibrium imbalance imbalance. He'll call for a new day. When he calls for a new day, he has to teach you a new song. <laughs> Hallelujah. When he, calls for, when he calls for a new day, he has, to, he has to teach you the principles of, because darkness has already emulated, uh, uh, has emulated the first day. So God calls for a new day. Now, why is this so important? Ah, said the Holy Spirit, what's the objective to uh, teaching the people these things now? Because these are things that God revealed many, many years ago. What's the objective, dear Spirit of God, for teaching these things now? There's a, a, a verse over in the book of Malachi, a very small place uh, that you, you, you'll miss it if, if, uh, because it just seems insignificant. Uh, it's Mal uh, Malachi chapter 4. And it talks about uh, God will send the spirit of Elijah. Uh, 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 and then he talks about uh, uh, he'll turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the hearts of the children to the father. He talks about a time period where, where God sends the spirit of Elijah. We know the spirit of Elijah came in John the Baptist. And we know that John was at the end of one day and there was a sun shine. There was a light about to be introduced and manifested, uh, manifesting a new day, having a new song having a new word 
word, having a new way. And we see in these the principles of, of even the book of Genesis that came forth. Now watch this, watch this, watch this. But God says in the book of Malachi, he says, now receive then this new day. Receive then this moving into a new day. You see, Satan comes to emulate and he seems to, 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 to mock and it to, to, to seems like uh, 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 that which God has done. And if there is no, if God doesn't move up where Satan remains underfoot, then actually the entirety of the creation is captured. If manifestation is, comes forth, let there be. And if darkness, non-manifestation comes forth that held things dark, that, that, that operated in non-manifestation. If manifestation and non-manifestation run their circuit together and they're equal, then so much would be the confusion. So much would be uh, uh, the children that would perish. So much would be the, the lacking of understanding. But God calls for new days. So here in the book of Malachi, he says, listen, you need to take a hold of the new day, lest I come and smite the earth with the curse. It's not God coming down and saying, you know what, you are evil and bam. No, it's not that. It's like gravity. You go up on top of the biggest building you can find and say, you know, I'm going to jump, but gravity is not going to hurt me. No, the penalty is built into the principle. If you obey the principle, you get the you get you get the blessing. If you don't obey the principle, you get the curse is built in. So this balance and imbalance is a very important uh, subject matter. It's a very important uh, 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 teaching. And the, the evening and the morning, there is never a complete day without uh, where Satan has totally emulated all that God wanted to produce and God doesn't take us into a new day. Praise God Almighty. You know how this teaching came to me this morning? Uh, the, the Lord spoke to me and said, there, is a, there are places that darkness cannot go. But then he said, and those places are places that darkness should not go. There is in the believer places that darkness cannot go. And in the entirety of the world, there are places that darkness should not go. If ever there was an equilibrium where all things are equal in the spirit dimension, it becomes a curse. Because this Babylon is its name and it's confused. I want to pray with you today. We're going to continue with this teaching, the balance and the imbalance. And some people will say, uh, Snooks, you just want people to be perfect. No, God is already, the light is perfect. <laughs> if you can connect to the light, he, he says through me, he says, I'll take you into the new day. Holy Spirit says, I'll baptize you into, I'll take you into a new day. I'll keep you moving above and beyond Satan. He says, I, I, I can do that. And then he says, praise God. So uh, uh, even though if the darkness says something to you that's not right, he says, I'll cause you to go above. If the darkness shoots an arrow, I'll cause you to go above. Yeah, this is the God that we serve. This is the spiritual situation in the spirit dimension. And what happens, praise God, uh, uh, what happens when we when we follow God into the new day, or if we decide we're not going to follow God into the new day, in Jesus' name. Let me pray with you. Let me pray with you. Some of you have been wondering what the world is going on. You've been in situations where there's been, there's been nobody attempting to move into the new day. There's been nobody attempting to, to everybody seemed like they want to walk hand in hand with Satan, with Lucifer. And, and as, they, as they're doing this, uh, 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 there's, there's this thing going on inside of you saying, no, that's, that's not it. 
there's there's something new and 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 uh uh the old becomes contaminated in the sense that um it 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 doesn't it doesn't uh reach forward towards the new the new heights and the new depths and as it doesn't reach forward towards the new heights and the new depths then what happens is we become contaminated by those things we walk in a lack of the power a lack of the grace a lack of the goodness but god again is calling for this new day god again is revealing a new song god again is opening up a word from heaven that says to us let there be light hallelujah father i thank you and i praise you so much for this day this is the day that you have made i will rejoice and be glad in it i bless you god for your people i bless you god for this priesthood and for this altar that we stand in hallelujah to you we stand in this place and as we stand in this place we thank you dear god we stand far higher than all principalities all the power of every kind of enemy with it under our feet god we give you glory we give you praise we magnify now let the blessing and the benefit of this higher walk let it flow now yes let it flow now let it flow into healing and deliverance and blessing flood homes flood churches flood nations dear god and we will give you the praise the glory in jesus name amen hallelujah well praise god we thank god for another day that god has made and we thank god for another opportunity that we have to we have had together uh, uh subscribe to the channel uh help us to praise god continue to teach and preach the unadulterated word of god and if you do so praise god we already feel your prayers and we already uh, uh receive that which you are doing in, G in jesus name don't forget on uh the sunday broadcast uh, uh, continuously at uh 9 uh, 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 a.m on sunday morning and then also praise god on tuesday nights at 7 p.m praise god and then also on monday nights we have intercessory prayer, praise God, that uh, will stand in the gap with you and for you. God says, I sought for a man in the book of e Ezekiel. I sought for somebody to stand in the gap, and I found none. God has found some intercessors, and there's some people with all of their heart believing to stand in that place of right standings and justifications with God uh, that that uh, not only they but they and their house that they have become stewards and priests over uh, would be saved remember us and praise God in your tithes and in your offering praise God you'll see the coordinates on the screen of the PayPal and also of the cash app and uh, uh, I know God will bless you uh, as a result. Be blessed. You are the head, not the tail, above and not beneath. You are uh, the word, the light that's come forth out of God's mouth that shall not return unto him void. You have been raised up, seated in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, far above all principalities, powers <laughs> in this world and that which is to come. Be blessed. Shalom. Shalom. We'll see you next time. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Shalom.